All righty. I think it was, I think one of the people who didn't, I think, because I know Kyle responded that he could only make one of the weekends because his uh, schedule is so impeccable. Yeah. Right, Kyle? Yeah. So you're one of the people we're missing for those uh, those days. And let me see who what? else. How is everybody doing this week? Uh, the week just started. Uh, I know, right? Okay, the other one is Mitchell, who said he only responded unsure if family wants to plan a Florida trip for the summer, but he can plan around it. So... Looks I wonder like... if he's going to be going to uh, Florida the same week that Kristen is trying to get us to go to Florida. Ooh. That'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like our best bet is mid June if you can work out your work schedule and if Mitchell can work out his vacation to not be on one of those weekends. Yeah. We'll. S I'll have to sit down and figure it out a little bit more because uh, I think next week they'll be printing out. <clears throat> uh, my. Uh, boss will be printing out the schedule for the next couple of months, so I'll be more aware of what's going on. Hopefully you get at least one of those weekends off, because yeah. it might be a little hard to do without our DM. Alright. Well, welcome back everyone to another fun week of uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Um... I'm excited to be here with all of you. Me too. Ooh, it's good to see. You. I love it when you get close see. to your close to your <laughs> mic. How do I sound tonight, by the way? A lot Pretty better. Good. Until yeah. you lean back like this, then we won't be able to hear right. you anymore. I'm I'm trying to not lean back, and I've moved my mic arm closer, so I want. Have sure you tried adjusting your chair so it's upright? Uh, no, you don't do I, that. You know I only you know I only got <laughs> one position and it's called the fine. <laughs> but alright. So who wants to get us started with a recap? Can't be me. Oh my gosh. Well I believe um You know what Tom's is gonna be. Would, would I believe like, a, I believe a couple would you like of like a Boris recap? Because so it was we, this really nice suit of armor that Boris would have made, okay, I won't do it. but it was not quite up to par with Boris's armor quality. So you know we had to destroy it. And in our destruction of the armor, we took down the whole tower, which was awesome. And um, then a kobold showed up hanging off the tail of Murder Face, which was really rad. And that's the Boris version of what happened last week. Um, but I believe Hero will give a much better version. No, that's fine. Was that a good version? I mean, that's pretty much all that happened. That was pretty much everything that happened. All right. Well, I'm left incredibly confused. Hmm. <laughs> well, it was a magical suit of armor that was powered by wind or something. Well, we, then, uh, we did take down sorts. a giant air elemental. Yeah. Well, the air elemental seemed like nothing compared to that. That suit of armor was badass. 
Yeah, that... The, uh... It's funny that the, uh, bigger creature that I throw at, throw at you guys seems to give you more of a hard time than the suit of armor. Oh no, I've got to make another one of these. Oops. Let's get that one down, put that one Version up. 2, McCulky, if you wanted to add it. Okay. Uh, it's the best yeah, I can do. Get rid of these. There we go. That'll work for now. Until we move back to the... I'll just go ahead and move. There we go. Yeah, that'll work for us. All right. So... And I believe you guys ended the session with uh, taking a uh, mm, nap on the ravine. Uh, short rest, so. I thought. Short rest. Quick nap. Okay, short rest. Oh no, Tiny Torin. Oh, Torin. Hello. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Um... All of you decided, like, I guess uh, you decided to take a short rest on the cliff face um, in front of the Feather Gale Spire, which, through strange change of events, uh, you know, going down into the Feather Gale Spire, trying to, like, do some uh, investigating and trying to find uh, clues about either the... Uh, Cult of the uh, Howling Hatred, or, you know, at least finding where the hell the Feather Gale people went. Um, you venture down into the lowest level of it, and uh, unfortunately set off a small trap, which uh, ended up just opening a door to a suit of armor. Uh, going through and into combat with this uh, suit of armor after it was defeated it exploded um, and in a massive gust of wind uh, pushing everyone out of the t uh, of the spire as well as completely reducing it to rubble um, at which point uh, Wub was flung out and down the ravine falling about 750 feet, and then Hero, with a daring act of uh, heroism, died, uh, or dived down, and was able to catch him. Um, upon resting uh, back up on the, or in the rubble of the ravine, uh, a strange uh, wind started whipping around the area, coalescing into a an arrow elemental. Uh, after a brief combat, uh, you guys were able to defeat it, and uh, prior to this, the entrance of this uh, arrow elemental, you see, you, or all of you saw, Murderface swooping in with this weird, strange-looking uh, bluish, or uh, blue and pink kobold nomming on its tail. After the brief combat, you guys say, decide to take a rest, and that's where we are right now. No, it was a long rest because we all took turns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, did. you did do a long rest because yeah. you you yeah. took a watch, and Hira and we Wub had a very uh, heartfelt conversation during that rest. Yeah, we stopped before me and who was left. I think it was you and. Uh, Forest because Boris. I was st I I was still up so I was gonna because it was you and what's up Hira, Hira it was Hira and Wub and Azuya and Potat and mm. then it was gonna be Adram and Boris and Zuya yeah and Torn wasn't here so Torn's a lazy shit he's just sleeping for real look up finally <laughs> my nails. <laughs> Yeah. Folding his shirt into little tiny squares. Kissing a little picture of Kalisa. No. 
Torin is not that or not that forward. He's more bashful than that. Okay, so I guess uh, the best place to pick up would be at the start of that final watch with uh, Boris and the Drum, and now that we have our uh, wizard, if he would like to join them for that final watch, uh, you know, we are missing Wub in the Discord at the moment. I think he's having some computer problems, so... It's okay, I'm gonna try to send out a link I'll to pull this. my weight. I'll suffer staying up for watch. <laughs> okay. But you make it. But I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I don't think we need three people on watch. Hmm. Well, Zuya doesn't need to rest, so he'll be up. Uh, that's no... four people. Okay, I feel very. Wow, why, why don't we just make breakfast while we're at it, guys? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I found a baby. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Drum walks up holding a baby. <laughs> like, look what I found. <laughs> Where'd you get it? <laughs> um. Now. If that's something that you guys would like to do, you can definitely do so. Um, Boris and Zuya can, you know, start uh, hunting in this area. Um, if you would like to, you could make me some... Uh, either yeah, both of you... Survival, both of you could roll independently, or one of you could roll at advantage, um, you know, seeing as you're helping each other. I have a plus five. I think yours is higher. Yeah, I got a plus seven. I'd have Boris roll at advantage. Yeah, roll at advantage. Yeah, so it just picks out the, the, the deer that has served its purpose. <laughs> Respectfully. Omnipate. Oh, uh, yeah. The two of you waking up for the first round of watch, realizing that you know you have, uh, two other people, actively watching. Um. You kind of make your way uh, deeper into the sombering hills, um, and you're able to find some various species of goats and rabbits. Um, and taking a couple uh, elbows with that uh, survival check, you are able to uh, catch them. And probably, I feel two like hours into the very rocks. helpful because he could speak with the animal. He'd be like, "Yeah, we're not gonna hurt you. Come here, come here, come here." Snaps its neck. That's pretty. That's pretty sadistic. <laughs> I don't think he would do that. I think he'd be like, no, he, would, he would definitely not Boris do that. Like... Zuya's not that kind of druid. <laughs> Boris is Boris like, running Boris is like, we've been out here for four hours and we see nothing. And like Zuya's in the corner. If anyone can hear me, run away. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, it feels like something that Boris would suggest Zuya did, and Zuya would look at him with horror and be like, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Zuya brings the special. Special needs deer to Boris. He's like, try that one. He's willing to make the sacrifice. <laughs> he wouldn't yeah, do that. The deer has crossed eyes and it's licking a tree. Be like, oh, oh, oh. Back, you know? <laughs> um, so, but I feel for like he wouldn't even wouldn't even go on the hunting, on the hunting. He'd be like, you do it by yourself. I'm not. I'm not gonna. It's a respectful this. way to kill animals. Druids aren't anti animals. He'd, he'd yeah. Go out and he'd, Zuya convince us to like go get a lot of berries. Uh, Zuya feels like a vegetarian to me, even he, though he likes to eat people. He ate people. fish people. <laughs> it's, it's, it's different. They're cultists. There was there was no not even a skipped beat. Zuya's like, oh, we need to hide these things. I'm bear. I'll eat. <laughs> Listen, well, when you're a tree for too long, the animal listen, takes over. All right. so. I was about to say, sometimes when you're in, when you're an animal form too long, you know, the the instincts just take over. It's overwhelming. Alrighty, so um, so for the two of you remaining, uh, for the hour and a half that Boris and Zuya are gone on their hunt, I would like same deal. Either the two of you can roll perception checks individually, or you can roll, or one of you can roll at advantage. I think I'm a not, drum has a good. No, I'm not too perceptive. Just a plus two. My wisdom is crap. Better than mine. Oh, okay, I'll do oh, it at advantage then, I guess. I mean, you got how did both of how did both of us get stuck on this if we can't even do this? <laughs> well, neither of you wanted to go hunting. Yikes! That would be a nine or a seven. 
So, a big old 11. I see a cloud. Why did it roll like that? I think it... I, I yeah. did it through uh, D&D Beyond, and I right-clicked it. I think a drum is just too busy admiring his new his new haircut and hair color. No right. one's even seen my haircut yet. I still have my hood up. But no one's see, asked about it. <laughs> the thing is, is that if you're... With that... You see how it... Like, if you go into roll 20, it has the, the separated for Boris. That's what I'm... Like, I'm just confused why I didn't do that. Yeah, um, so the, the KH1 is it basically like... You, you it, kill, it kills you the lower one. Uh, what you're supposed yeah. to do is you're supposed to shift-click it. And it yeah, yeah shift-click it works die. better. You can right-click it as well, and that's what I did, because I have one hand. Ah, so holding a baby. So if anyone would like to yeah. come to my house and hold my baby, I'll happily shift-click. I mean... Be right there. Jeez. I Still comes out to the same thing, it's just not as pretty, all right? I can help your baby learn how to fly. That seems like a drug reference. Nah, it just means yeeting it like a football. Um, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I'm about to be a dad, guys. Yeah, as a dad, <laughs> that's not really a good idea. Um, I'm a little there you go, happy. You. And yes. then I spanned it and lost my my nat twenty. I hate you guys. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you wasted your nat twenty. That's all. All right, so with your prior perce perception check, um, you guys. Don't really notice anything. Um, you do uh, hear the howling of the wind up way up in the top of these peaks, and you are um, with the small firelight that you've uh, set up in this area. Um, you can see a little bit over into the spire with the rubble, um, and some of the dust is beginning to, uh, you know, separate and blow off um, from the remnants of the the tower. Um, Yeah, the DC for it wasn't that high. So, I would say, uh, Adram, as you're glancing around the, uh, as you're glancing around the rubble, you do notice, um, the suit of armor that's, uh, you know, lying underneath, you know, uh, rubble and dust. It does seem to have, or from this distance, it's hard to make out, um, but you are able to make out some more smaller details of the suit or a suit of armor than you weren't really noticing before. Um, notably, the leather belt um, that was situated around its waist. And that's still over near the tower where, like, the dead mist thing is? Mm-hmm. Well, that's already... it. You know, disperse. So I need to. Yeah, get yeah. I'm just. I'm saying, meta wise, just to know the location. It's right over there. How far away, or how deep is that ravine? You said like 80 feet. No, 750 feet. Yeah. So like 80 feet. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and jump okay. down it, please. Nah, I'm good. Let me roll these 20 d6. Uh, Any times, you know, like 10 or something like that. Um. No, even so, if you rolled max damage on all of those, you wouldn't be able to kill Hira with that fall damage. That's just with a few bad or a few bad dice rolls. Just imagine if they were all sixes. You still wouldn't <laughs> be able to kill her. We'll see. <laughs> damage accepted. Um, I'm gonna like I'm assuming I'm kind of talking to Torin around like the little fireplace thing. Um, and I'll. Like, something will, like, the belt will, like, catch my eye. And I'll be like, uh, that's peculiar. Looks like that belt is more obvious to me than it was before. Um, I can misty step over there. Yeah, it is only, uh, 25, uh, feet from either side. So, Torin, you mind uh, backing me up in case uh, I make a stupid move right now? Like going over to look at a belt? Yeah, like going over there and looking at a belt. <clears throat> Should I come with you? Uh, if you wanted to. Okay. 
kill your misty step as well. Uh, he how says badass. half asleep. How, how badass are we about to be? We both look at each other for a second and just like puh, puh, appear in the other spot. Yeah, I'm a little. What if, what if you stepped into the same spot at the same time? That'd be awkward. Oh, now well, you I have Torn in a drum, like Tor drum. <laughs> I would, I would think that we we would we would step kind of in the same direction we were already kind of spaced out at, and not crisscross. Well, don't cross the streams. Torn's unpredictable. I don't know. So as you uh, both misty step across, um, you know, uh, or. A drum, as you uh, dematerialize, basically, uh, you leave behind a small, like, misty uh, cloud in the area, and as you reform back on the other side of the ravine, there is a little bit of a small uh, puff of mist that uh, signifies where you're about to land. And as Torin goes across and lands just a few like a moment behind you um instead of the small like light mist it's more of a downpour and just an instantaneous rain that puddles on at his feet like from him yeah so, so we're gonna like you know obviously apparate or whatever and i'm gonna like look down and see that he's like dripping wet oh he is dry well but his feet the, the area around him uh was that a little too exciting for you <laughs> it's very early you feeling all right buddy it's very early <laughs> look at this belt <laughs> okay that drum's gonna not push it but have that like last second lingering type of I'm gonna keep an eye on you type of mentality and then uh, we're gonna go take a look at that belt so rummaging through the area and just quickly being able to pick it up you realize two things there is a uh, small uh, what almost reminds you of like best way to describe it is like a fanny pack attached to one side of it and then on the other side is this very ornately crafted leather box. And picking up the belt in this hole, um, you realize two things. There is something inside that box. And there are, uh, there are runes arcane runes carved on either side or both of these kind of holsters and that's attached to the belt yeah just attached the belt is very mundane from what you can gather does the uh the stuff that's in like the box shake when i like pick it up like yeah a box of legos it sounds more like oh damn it i can't yeah but my um, mind didn't as he like it. as he like picks it up um he's gonna hear that and kind of like jingle like this is interesting can you read these runes uh, i can try what are the runes look like i guess i can do an arcana as well yeah you both can make me an arcana check or you can do detect magic or even identify i don't have that anymore because i'm no longer a warlock You've murdered me. Hmm. No, I can oh. do it to tech magic, actually. So my Arcana check didn't go through. I think I have to re-download. Uh... Beyond 20? Yeah. Oh, he, he got a 25, yeah. though. I can see it. Okay. So. Moked mine. With uh, your Arcana check. Uh, and at this point, as the two of you are kind of like pondering and gander or uh, taking a gander over this um the sun is just starting to come up over the valley um and that's when zuya and boris with um your survival checks you were able to gather two rabbits and a single goat uh 
and you got you guys begin the process of cooking. Two of you. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and give me uh, some individual uh, survival checks to see how we can do this. But um, Torin, as you're looking over this, um, the satchel. You've seen a lot of these. This is a small bag of holding. Oh, a small bag of holding. Right. Look. Just one large enough that can be affixed to your belt and carry it on your side. Watch out for the bag, man! What? What? What do you think it is, Torn? <laughs> uh, it's a little bag of holding. We can finally um, replace that old stinky chest. <laughs> Adram's eyes are going to look extremely relieved. Although he's no longer uh, held down uh, by the Dark Lord himself, that chest has been a bitch on his back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't so, wait for uh, you guys to open that shit up again. He's going to he's gonna be el elated. Um, we still have a rotting corpse in there, don't we? Yeah. No, we... Oh god, we do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you never took it's it out. It's been in there for it's months. I thought I thought we turned it into No. Nah. No, but when you guys went to turn it in, the It was on the place was on fire. The temple was yeah. on fire, yeah. It's right, right before you met Boris. Gross. I think we still have bottles of wine in there too. Yeah. Ooh. Or kegs wow. of beer or whatever. And you guys and you guys say I'm the problem. You guys had a rotting corpse thing this whole time. Well, that's line. because never... because we we <laughs> needed wow. We needed wow. to. We needed. You needed to kill him, huh? No, we well, didn't kill him. We killed him. People to a drop. And again, Boris, we don't care that you kill people. We didn't put any of our fingers in its eye sockets and used its head to bowl down another. So, what about those orphans' hey. parents? You didn't like. Hey, them. listen, he was already dead. Okay, we were sent yeah. to treat him. He was well, a whole. Not, he was a whole. Gonna, we just didn't know. We're, hey, we're not going to rehash this again, okay? He was a Boris. holy relic of Kier that we were sent to retrieve. But when we brought him back, we got him, and we brought him back to the guys who sent us to retrieve him. And their temple was burned down, and they were the all fire dead. Fire cults burned. Yeah, everything. we were like, "Well, fuck! Now what do we do?" And we just forgot See? about the dead body. So technically, I just want to say, out of character, guys. I was against this whole putting a body in the chest idea because I somehow, in the back of my head, had an had an idea. What if we forget? And then, yep, here we are, months like in the game, like half a year later. Technically, if there's no air, no rot. Yeah, it's it's suspended. Yeah. It's oh, not there's gonna... air. No, it's it's a chest, my dude. You if, might magically well, be able to put a, a ton of shit chest. in there, but it's a chest. There's All air. Right, if, it's guys, a, if it's a magic uh, chest, how's, like how's a breakfast? Container. How's breakfast so, looking? So, anyways, the drum holds up the pouch. The tour. How's says, breakfast looking? He holds up the pouch and he's like, "But it sounds like something's in here already." So the pouch, you know, whenever you whenever you shake that because it's a bag of holding, you don't hear anything inside. What well, you so hear what the sound, doing? the leather box on the oh, other the side and using or with your arcana checks um the box itself is not magical however by its weight torin you know that these or that there is a certain thing or you can craft containers out of a certain metal that blocks magical auras and it's a, a leather or it's leather outside with lined with lead. And there's a small little, you know, button flap that you can pop it open with. And yes, you do have uh, uh, a wonderful breakfast. Um, and you, uh, Hotot, Hira, Wub, uh, you awaken to the smell of almost like you're in the swinging sword in um, with a. Uh, goat and rabbit stew uh, boiling over the fire um, and you notice that Adram and Torin are across the ravine kind of inspecting um, some of the rubble and with the wind even though it's like a short distance you can it almost sounds like a faint whisper of how uh, even though they're talking at a regular volume um, I don't mean to be that guy towards a wizard but can you mage hand these things open so we don't have to be close to them? And I don't mean to be that kind of wizard. I don't rock with mage hand. And I'm going to reach for the button. <laughs> okay. So, 
it pops open in the flap, um, and you pull it or open the flap, and you see what's inside. It's a deck of cards. I'm gonna close the flap. Oh God, no! <laughs> no, no, no! Is it a deck of illusions? We're not gonna find out. <laughs> It's a deck All of right. I hate this game. Do you, can you open up the bag of holding? Uh, see if anything. Me. See if anything dumps out. Uh, yeah. How bag of holding works is don't you have to think of something specific in there to pull it out? Unless you turn it upside down, then all the contents spill out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh. Here's 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 gonna kind of go. What you guys doing over there? So you guys hear her shout even. Up. <laughs> Quiet. That was the shortest three-hour watch that we've ever been in. You guys are still half asleep. I'm not gonna respond, but I'm gonna like hold up a finger, like across. The you love me, like, Crowler. Uh, Hero's gonna misty step over as well. <laughs> her her patience is just unrivaled. Oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting you can do that. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, you're just in time to watch us uh, display some possible goodies. We found a small bag of holding. I'm a little sad I wasn't here because theoretically I could have just flown over there and then back with the items, but... Uh, wow, this seems like a genius idea. Let's see. She's going to take a step backwards. Smart. Uh, hmm. I guess now's the time where I invert... <laughs> the bag and we would do it towards the building so it's not anything gonna fall off the cliff this picture is not the the best for us but so uh as you open it it starts pouring sand oh. and it continues to pour and continues to pour for an annoying moment it's just pouring sand <laughs> Maybe this was owned by the Sandman of those children's tales. The Bagman falls out. He's like, oh, thank God. I couldn't find my way out. And then a single pearl falls out at the very end. It's about, oh, don't let it go off the cliff. It's about that big. It's a good size pearl. Yeah. It's some kind of weird clam. And then after the pearl, it stops. Um... A drum's going to pick up the pearl. Just because it seems like Torin's so nonchalant about opening these things. A drum has a false sense of safety. <laughs> and he picks it up and kind of holds it up and looks at it. Does this look like the pearl of power that I own? No. It looks nothing like that. It's just a very, very large, nice pearl. Is there hmm. some way to identify it? There's or is no it just appraising. literally just a pearl? With going off of Torin's previous Arcana check... It's not a magical pearl of power or anything like that. It seems more like it's just a large pearl for a spell regent. What color is it? Opalescent. Okay. How large is it? I was hoping he found some more black pearl. That size. Okay. That's a good well, size pearl. That was anticlimactic. Can, can you use it for like a, a reagent or something? I might be able to. He's going to toss it to Torrin. Agent. Almost had the thought to put it in my mouth. <laughs> mm. Jawbreaker! Intrusive thoughts and all that. <laughs> what are we uh, going to do with this? And he, like, kicks some of the sand. You scrape it on your teeth to verify it's real. Hmm. Nope. As Zoya shouts over the wind. Yeah. Quiet, you 25 feet away people. Yes. This is, you're way up in this, in this, like, probably, like I said, about 700 to 800 feet up. There's wind howling around you. How unless you're gonna you sleep? Be, unless you're going to be like a hero and be impatient and burn a spell slot to come over here. We're just cooking these half naked. You know, he, he just yeah. pulled up his pants after here. I was complimenting how good the breakfast was. He decided, oh, people are eating. I'd hear her make a running jump back so she doesn't have to burn another spell slot. 
Oh my god, you're gonna fall and die to your death. Worst case scenario, I have to pop wings, or I just misty step while I'm falling. Yeah, you can make a athletics check or acro or athletics or acrobatics, one your choice. Got nice him. It was a DC twenty seven. You uh, <laughs> Olympic Olympics runner. You take about a good ten feet running start and haul yourself over, and you don't quite make it. <laughs> I missed you step last second. Okay, so now you're la you're about thirty feet behind the party. <laughs> yeah, you get the feeling that had you not been wearing your armor, the wind resistance still would have not helped. But don't worry, guys. It was just a test. Nobody try that. <laughs> I wouldn't have if you paid me. <laughs> I said we leave the sand here and we can take this I'm going to flick the uh, lead lined portion of the belt yeah we can take this back I think uh, I might uh, empty out this chest that I've been hauling around <laughs> into this bag and it seems like it must it will be much lighter now it is smaller so you won't be able to fit as much in it we don't have too, too much stuff other than a dead body. Hey, you want to <laughs> see a dead body, by the way? Seen plenty. Not too keen this early on. Where's our notes? Ish. All of our notes got deleted because the roll 20 reset. Oh, poop. You just now noticed that? Yeah, huh? Been it's been like that, yeah. man. Okay. And the belt still has the... Yeah, but they're you they're very removable. Okay. Just as long as I have everything together. Irritatedly, I'm going to misty step back across the death chasm. Okay. Easy enough. <laughs> I guess I can I guess I can burn another misty step. How else are you gonna get back? I could try to do what you just did, except I'm not wearing heavy armor. But he said the wind resistance. Also, you don't have as good of an athletics as I do. I rolled an 18 plus 8. I got, it. I got it. I got it. I can like still attempt roll. and then misty step like you did. I'll In solidarity. Rolls of power. I'll get a spell slot. Can we take, watch the okay. drum roll? You can get eight. that back. A drum trips on his way down. Ah! <laughs> YOLO. Eric's dying over there. Oh! oh that's pretty decent. You. Look at you, probably. Drum does like a peer away in midair before he drops down the canyon. Yeah, no, he doesn't even he doesn't even like attempt to really jump jump. He does like First a, a slow clap. Does at least he looked beautiful when he was dying. He, does, he jumps and he does a peer away in midair before he missed he, the steps. <laughs> he, he yeah, he backs up and he takes like kind of like a jump and does like a front flip and then mid front flip he just teleports across oh well, okay I meant, I, well i knew you were gonna do that yeah i was gonna say you made it about halfway before you started falling so you made it through your uh front flip and yeah, realize you're about gonna, to he winks at here he's like i didn't want you to have all the fun <laughs> she punches him in the shoulder really hard as she passes him he's gonna like ah like with a smile like yeah. he took or he takes 100 points of damage <laughs> All right, down to three HP. <laughs> Guys, I'm not feeling too good. Mr. Stark, oh. I don't feel too good. And you see me turn into the sand that came out of the back of holding. <laughs> Fuck, it's contagious. <laughs> but, all right, party. All right. Clap, clap. Gonna get everyone's attention. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna hand over the bag of holding. Uh, to someone like we have a bag of holding here who wants the task of saving all of our goodies it's not going to be me did you say isn't break the isn't a drum the most responsible one I was going to say did you say break all our goodies because Boris would love to do that but 
I feel like, I feel like love is the perfect one for this task. I was actually just thinking, theoretically, I could kind of pack mule a little bit since the bag of holding doesn't like count as entire weight. Right. Because I, I have a lot of like fast mobility, so I could like pop in, drop healing potion in your hand, pop out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> doesn't Bye. matter to me. All right, to web it. Uh, sorry, to web it goes. I, said, I just don't. I don't know. Able to what bonus action the... disengages six. Chest. Uh, while we're all standing here uh, eating breakfast, Ryra, or ooh, wrong him. Mm. Who are you? Who are you? Here is going to have a uh, rousing, inspiring speech. Oh. And sounds... After yesterday, after last night's heroics, you know, you all are very impressed by her. <laughs> and how much? Wow, uh, you would get back six. You would get sixteen temporary hit points. Sick. Nice. Thank you for the inspiring you. speech, Hero. I feel like we might <laughs> need it. A drum stands up and starts clapping. Wow. <laughs> wow. How many? He's looking around like why? Is sixteen. No wow. 16. All my clapping for the day was done when we made that jumbo jump. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kind of crouched down apart. It of course only has cool, like right? one pant leg on. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not on either of his legs. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Yeah, it's on my shoulder. <laughs> his, well, head's guys, going, um, his head's going through one leg and his arm's going through the other. It kind of sucks that we don't, that we didn't find our, our hippogriffs. Because uh, we've got a, quite a bit of ways to go to catch up to that uh, that siege we could we could stuff. try the call again. Maybe, maybe they're sending some down in the ravine or something. I'm gonna try survival. It'd be animal handling. Animal handling. Yeah, maybe they are in the tower fall. Nope. Oh. The drum goes to blow on the whistle, and there's like dirt and stuff <laughs> in it. So she's like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe someone else's might work. Uh, Hira never learned to whistle properly, so she just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! It was still higher than yours. Zoya is like still. One. Yeah, Zoya is still reeling from watching Boris just drop elbow a <laughs> rabbit that he's just like. I don't. I don't want to bring anybody here. So you intentionally don't whistle very well. You just kind of he, he he blows in the whistle and like shoots out of his mouth. Like we the don't whole have whistle. a whistle. Right it's supposed to be whistle with your mouth. I thought they gave us whistles. Yeah, I gave you all grape whistles. Yeah. We oh. got whistles. Yeah, they're all purple and like small. Yeah. Like, so Zuya so blows on it and it, it tweets, but it just whoosh, right into the ravine. And we're like, no. Uh, well, Kira, Kira, Kira tries to whistle, but her whistle is like clotted with dried blood. Ew. So nothing comes out. <laughs> what was that, Potat? I was like, can Potat see them like blown into these weird things and try making a whistle noise himself? J just to whistle. <laughs> Make me a straight, just d20 roll. Nat 20, nat 20. <laughs> I believe. I believe you can whistle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Does a near pitch perfect whistle, bro? So, not only does Potat, or just sitting around, like, getting after getting tired of watching, or, uh, running around and chasing uh, Murderface's tail and watching the tall people just w make weird noises with their mouths. Potat just kind of sits down, puckers his lips, and blows. And it is the most beautifully on-key whistle for just a sm few minutes, or a few seconds. Uh, every everybody turns to look at Potat. He just gives like a big old toothy grin. He's like, "Oh, that whistle's real good." When the hell did we get that? <laughs> oh, Torin, this is Potat. He uh, he he, he, came, brought, he brought Mur Murderface back to us. Well, Murderface made a friend while he was gone, it seems, and he brought him with him when he returned. Or yes, Potat <laughs> brought Murderface. Either way, we have a new friend. Either way, we're very happy. They, they met I after a little, a, a I little think snack. Potat here, he he point or she points at the the little kobold. He uh 
almost single-handedly destroyed an air elemental. <laughs> oh. Yes, very strong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. Things come in little He just, like, waves up at you, like, I am Potat. <laughs> he worships potatoes. <laughs> Not just any potatoes. The all-knowing very first potato and he like looks around reaches into his bag again and just like pulls out a really old spudding potato he's like behold and then he like quickly like shoves it back in his bag he's like don't tell anyone i have it though they'll come after me don't tell anybody torn we promise to keep it a secret yes it's a secret my lips are sealed <laughs> <laughs> I will protect that potato with my life. We all will. Before we Torn. do anything else, <laughs> there is uh, something I want to take a look at. And uh, now that we're in good company, I'm going to undo that button flap again. <laughs> And I want to take a look at that, a deck. Okay, so you pull the whole thing Let's out, the I'm whole deck out. <laughs> you yeah, just pull the whole thing out. What? Okay, what are you pulling Whoa, out? Whoa! Do that in private. So is it he unbuttoned the flap and pulled the whole thing out? Yeah, the whole, out. The whole deck. So the whole deck. He's pulling out the whole deck. Whole That's a huge. So deck. as you're, uh, <laughs> um, so as you pull it out, you see uh, that the cards. Or it is a full deck of uh, 52 cards. Um, and on their faces look very much like tarot cards. Um, and the one you're looking at um, has a picture of a skull or a hooded uh, figure. Um, you see the skull for its face, a red bandana draped around it. And a small, like, almost like drawn scroll across it. And it reads, Skull. Um, and uh, kind of searching through, um, most of the key, or most of the uh, cards are like this. There's a, um, you know, a woman with long white flowing uh, hair and a uh, cloak um, that reads Balance. Uh, and... Very quickly, uh, from your studies, you recognize this as a deck of many things. I, I've seen that before. And this is how we died. Uh, <laughs> this is... I'm going to hold up all the cards in one... In, you know, very carefully... Is very dangerous. I agree. <laughs> okay. uh, Only our well, are on the, I don't think we should waste any more post. time. Uh, we need to catch up with uh, that army. I feel like that's the logical next place to go, unless anybody else has any other ideas. I've got nothing. At least this place wasn't a total flop. Got a bag of holding and a nice deck of cards. Not just a nice deck of cards. Yeah. Well, are you able to use them, Thorin? The what do they do? The drum's gonna shake his head. <laughs> what do All they do? All it requires is you pull a card. Anything, really. It could... Well, make you rich. Make you dead. Oh. Very uncomfortable. There's worse things than death. True. So, are we it's a keeping gamble. them? Well, or are we getting rid of them? Leave them here on the ground. I didn't say leave them on the ground. <laughs> of course, we're keeping them. Maybe we should place that in a bag of holding. I. I'll keep. I'll keep these. 
Shall we put them box back in the box so they're protected and not loose? Good idea. But because what constitutes picking a card? If one falls out of your hand, does that constitute picking a card? Most likely not. Can I pick a card? Don't pick a card. My drum's gonna get very serious. <laughs> what's the what's the purpose of this deck if he can't use it? It's not just a deck of cards, it's a very, very strong magical artifact. Oh. Okay. There are very many things that like Torn said can give you I prevent you from pulling a card, but you do have my warnings. Kira's gonna frown and she's gonna be like After what you've told me uh, I think I'd rather not. I can't imagine. I, I I trust I trust in Torn to know what's up with these magical artifacts more than anything. Sounds I'm... fun. Probably would kill me. <clears throat> Just chop it. I get it. Use this Hail Mary. No, that's what we had for breakfast. <laughs> Meta wise, Several you, you declare them, you declare how many them. cards you want to draw, and then you draw them, and they're obviously random. And it can be extremely good or extremely, extremely bad. Like one of them, I think it's the skull or something like that. It like, if you do it in the middle of a fight, you fight whatever you're fighting by yourself. And you better win. Or if you get a shit ton of money. <laughs> or you can get like three wishes. I think it was the moon. It's the moon one. Moon? Or you, it's one d one d three or something, and you well, can get that many wishes. But it's just it's mostly bad though. I would say. <laughs> do they do they have to be drawn at random for it to work? Yeah, they, and they have to be drawn within like I think it's one hour of the previous one, or else all of them happen simultaneously <laughs> or something like that. Okay, meta-wise, Kaylee really, that. really, really, really wants to draw a card, but Same. Hira, after having that personal conversation with Torin, would not. Like, some of them are like, you can gain, like, a ton of experience and stuff. Like, it, it, it's a full gambit of stuff, but some of them are extremely bad as well. I would hide it from Potat. I don't know why, but I don't trust him around that deck. <laughs> He's sitting there sniffing on, or uh, sniffing the uh, box that's on the car. On uh, attached to Torin's belt right now. Damn right. I would put a chain around that and magically lock that or something. I just really don't trust him. I don't know why. I have a feeling he really wants to pull a card. Why would you say that about the sweet little kobold? They are just. I'm just not creatures. sure he understands the consequences and of his own actions. <laughs> they are noble digging creatures. They go in. They. Fantastic. Kobold, the Petrov family cannot say enough good things about these loyal workers. They have worked our minds for generations. Mm. I'm just saying. He would never steal anything from you. That's not the way of the Kobold. <laughs> Kaylee is literally dying to pull a card, but I know Hira can't, so I can't do it. Any other character. <laughs> Any other. Are Fine, I'm not uh, playing anybody else. Everyone ready to go? <laughs> Ready. Nobody pulling a card? Did anyone, everyone have enough breakfast? Yeah, so while you guys are kind of like arguing and debating, like, should we pull a card? No, we shouldn't pull a card. You guys have managed to eat um, and uh, stamp out your fire, pack, pack up your bags, and you are ready to continue your adventure. So is it true about the deck, though, that we have to draw them, like, one after another? Or they all lose power? No. You can draw them... You can draw them independently. Yeah. If you can draw one, or you can draw one, you can draw two. But if you draw two, then within the hour, two of them take effect. But you're also only able to draw... Like, it does have a magical enchantment to it, and you're only able to draw two specific cards twice. In the same day. Mm -hmm. 
So, so what are you doing? Oh, Mary. Is that just two each or two for everyone? <laughs> Is it only two? I thought you named how many cards you want to draw. So should we, like, burn it or get rid of it or what? <laughs> or no. sell it to somebody? Uh, <laughs> oh. we sell a, a weapon sell? of mass destruction? Yeah. No. <laughs> Let's just say it's good that we found it because now we know that we have it. And someone Even else does it. it was found on a... Well, yeah, we Tadriel can... knows we have it now. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, from now on, <laughs> Kira's just, not allowed like, to be in like, any of our conversations. Ooh. You are not... <laughs> I swear, Listen, Kira... I gave, you, I gave you guys the choice to get rid of me, and you're just like, no, your family will want you to stay. Well, Kira, the Kira, consequences. Kira, Kira, when, you, when we say blindfold, we really mean earmuffs, okay? And when we say we want you to stay, <laughs> we want you to stay, but in this case, stay on the other side of the cliff. Let us look at this stuff. <laughs> Gosh. If I pull the right card, I can just, like... <clears throat> If any of us pull the right card, we can fuck up uh, Tadriel. Tadriel. We can uh, wish Hira, that she, Hira, Hira we can looks wish very, that she dies. very, very <laughs> tempted at that. Well, then why don't we do it? Why don't we pull the right card? I'd hey. be willing to make that sacrifice. I am not. Let's push right forward. Card. Let's do it. And let's not well, gamble with the lives of, of literally of everyone in existence. What'd you say, Wub? I said, Wub is kind of tempted by the prospect of money. <laughs> no, at the, Kira didn't really want to pull a card, at, like, other than out of sheer curiosity, until you mentioned that it could help fuck up Tadriel, and now she kind of wants to. And Charm's going to keep pushing for us to just leave and stop talking about this. But we need to talk about it. It, it shouldn't even be a discussion. If, if, if some people want to pull the cards, man. I just don't understand the point of having it if we're never going to touch it. Serious. We'll touch it. The drum's going to just start walking away. <laughs> like we can, we can have this conversation while we're moving towards. Yeah. 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 yeah so that's it. Go. There's no reason to do it stand up. I, I assume. I assume this was going on while we were walking. There's yeah, no reason you... to just stand in one spot. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. I'm walking away. Camp. <laughs> I'm walking away from the talking group. At the very least, I can pull this out like a thread. Hmm. Yeah. Could play mean. Oh, that wouldn't work. Let's say we'll get Tadriel to pull a card. That could also be very bad for us, though. If we could figure out a way to do that, that could be very advantageous. Or really disadvantageous. <laughs> Maybe. We could shuffle a duck and have it be. <laughs> we could put the wrong stack card at the, the top. We could stack the duck. We could literally stack the deck and be like, here, draw a once card. Once you look at it, once you look at it, it activates. How does that so, work, though? Not so sure you can stack like, something like this. How, because you could flip over the deck all at once and, like... It's not, it's not like a deck though? of cards. It's not like a deck of cards like that. Well, like, didn't you, you... When you looked at it, you already saw the skull and then you saw the, the balance. Like, you already saw those ones. So, yeah, when those ones be activated? Drawing. I think that's the... Yeah, it's the back of the card. Oh, oh, alright. That's the back of the card? I thought that was the front face of the card. Okay. It, it was the front face of the card, but looking, like, opening up and fanning a deck is not going to activate the card. It's actually pulling it. Drawing the card. Yeah, so... So, so shuffling it is like a pseudo drawing. Because you're taking one out to move it to another spot. Well, you don't shuffle one at a time, though. I that's say, that's not how you shuffle. I'm just going to stop talking about this deck. <laughs> job's right. going to have nightmares. I just wanted a toy to fuck with you guys. But anyway, you guys are walking? Yes. All right. So... It takes, or it takes you the better part of uh, the day um, to get down. Let me move maps for you guys to the Desarian Valley. Here we go. So it takes you better part of the day to get out of the Slumber Hills. 
um, and into the flat green plains leading into uh, Red Larch. Um, as you guys make it to the uh, into the plains, you can start seeing uh, Red Larch in the distance. However, it is starting to get kind of dark, and you guys have been moving for about uh, six hours at this point. Um, you gather from the distance, it's going to take you another two to get there. May as well. Yeah. So you keep going? Yeah, let's yeah. keep Alrighty. So, you make it back into uh, Red Larch at the uh, beginning half of the evening, or the midpoint of the evening. Um, most of the shops in the area are closed, minus some of the ones that, you know, uh, stay open, uh, like the Swing Sword Inn and the uh, Helmet High Sun. Um, which is demolished. So you see the proprietor of the Helmet High Sun just working away throughout the night, uh, or through this port in the evening. Uh, lanterns scattered, or scattered out all, all around so he could see. Um, well, being back at Red Larch, what do you guys want to do? Should we go get horses? So or, at, or at least a wagon. That would be my bad. Get some horses in a cart or something. I think horse and cart sounds nice. Horse and cart's good, but if we all have horses, it'd be faster. Well, for some, you do realize, or you would realize that Hotot, although seemingly in tune with nature, nature. Might have some difficulty riding a horse. Yeah, po Potot and Wub don't exactly fit the uh, height requirements, and I feel like Boris might crush a horse. Just with sheer weight. I mean, look look at him. He's a tank. But he could also ride Suya with Suya being on as uh, something. But you would also be a larger version of those creatures. Yes. Yeah. So that makes a difference. But um, at this hour, um, there are no, uh, or the, what is the name of that place? Let's go into. Fables? Yeah, there's a specific place that has a name. Let me see if I can. Oh. I'm trying to remember the name of the stables. Oh, shit. Yeah, those are dark locations. Old Faith Shrine, Swinging Sword, Element High Sun. There you go. Uh, Thaloran's Safe Journeys. Um, and those of you who have been here for a while, you reckon or remember that being at location number five. But uh, walking past this area, you do, again, realize that it is closed for the evening. There is one small, or one uh, elderly man, however, sitting out uh, on the front porch. Um, those of you who have been here recognize him as Thelorn. Um, and he is currently sitting uh, on his front porch. Um... But it does, or he's not inside of his shop or anything. I'm gonna bother him. You're gonna go bother him? No, the men's off work. Ah, yeah. I can't believe someone bothered me. All right, so you guys make your way back to the swinging sword in. Get some din din. And then we can head out to Ironford in the morning. That is our destination, right? Yeah. Ironford. That was our best lead. Okay. All right. Well, so whatever we farm and estate that the army was headed to in Ironford, but. Right, right. <laughs> 
So, uh, Kelesa, you know, quickly, uh, or gather some meals for the lot of you. Um, and, uh, goes back to her, uh, bartending duties. Anything that you guys would like to do, um, or, you know, the floor is y'all's. You're sit currently sitting down having a decent dinner, um, in a warm environment. My hands are itching. Mm. Which hand? Both. <laughs> Where? I don't want to mess with that deck of cards. Don't do it! Obviously, you... it's me. Obviously, it's not as, not as mage hand that's itching. <laughs> aren't you the whole? Aren't you the whole one with the thing about don't mess with magical artifacts? That is correct, but these things are so enticing. Do as I say, not as I do. Maybe I should be the one to hold the deck. <laughs> Perhaps that may be smart. I thought Torin might be the most responsible since he knows the consequences, but it seems like Drom might be better in Drom's hands if he's tempted. Oh, these we things have. All, we are all free people. It is our choice to to draw a card or not. May, if yes. choose. These things are enticing. The problem is, yes, I agree with the free will and all, but these things that are drawn could affect. Everyone the well-being well of everyone in the area, yeah. if not the whole world. And I feel like there's enough darkness and problems right now. Do either of you know what all the cards are? I don't know sure what all the cards have are. A good idea or not. Or maybe you guys could pool your knowledge. If you guys want to... So... It seems a drum, Wub, and uh, Torin all have a decent knowledge of them. How does Wub know about these things? He's a thief. <laughs> he literally has. Has he pulled one of these? No, <laughs> but in his background, there's definitely chances of you know people talking about it at least. I would I would wager this is the first time he's ever seen one in person. But... Oh, for sure. He's only heard about, like, individual cards, because, I mean, it, essentially, anybody who knows about magical artifacts, you know, like Torin, they I, they know about I, the deck of many things. Undid I all of my right, hard work. In the 5e world, it's, like, one of the most sought-after, like, magical items because of the different levels of stuff that it can do. Even though it usually, it's... So... Obviously, since half good, half all bad, of you... but... Roll me, uh, just a straight intelligence check. And intelligence. Don't expect nothing special. And it's just garbage for me. Or, uh, I meant, uh, just, oh. I meant just Torin, uh, Wub, and, uh, Adron. And I rolled a stick in Yikes, guys! How did I quit? Y'all know no shit! How did I beat all of you with my plus one? Wow. <laughs> Hey, well, uh, intelligence smart. has never been Wub's thing, right? Yeah, neither mine. Okay. Your curiosity were cursed. So, right. um, all of you have heard stories of different cards, um, Hi, being pulled. High world was nine. Uh, but never the result. Um. So you once, or I would say, Torn once heard of a man becoming extremely powerful after pulling a card. You heard, uh, Wub heard of a man pulling a card, and that's it. Um, with a drum, you heard of him, or heard some, or heard of a story. Someone pulling a specific card. And let me. After pulling this specific card. Uh, someone or the person that pulled their card, their wife became 
immeasurably hostile towards them. To the point where, in the days following, she murdered him. Oh, I forgot about that one, you dick. It took me a minute, I was like, wait, does one of the cards... Oh, yeah. And I'm sitting... And I actually got it wrong. I'm sorry, Torin. It's not a deck of 52, it's a deck of 23. Okay. I did think it was a deck of, um, not exactly half, but I couldn't remember, so I didn't want to, like, say anything. I was like, is there 52? I can't yeah. remember. What I'm thinking is we wait until the end of this campaign, and then we can pull cards for shits and giggles. We save oh. the world, and we just pull them all. <laughs> and we start uh, we start the apocalypse i mean heck our last uh when i joined in rune lords the party that i met up with every single one of them had pulled a card that's why grapple granny was a granny <laughs> and a woman because <laughs> apparently which i didn't know this until like well maybe spoiler alert playing with these guys grapple granny was originally a very like a very young man elf not very young, but very young in the sense of adult elf compared to old elf. But. Um. And. After you guys, like, are, you guys have probably been sitting there for a better part of an hour or two having dinner. Um. And Potot. Um. You are currently situated in a very. Here, let me bring you to the map. Um. Have. Has your character ever been in... Actually... Or... No, I'll wait. I'll wait. Has your character ever been in an inn before? No. Okay, so the you're... The only thing that's ever been is, like, a house and a mine and outside, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So this is a very interesting experience for you because the aroma of cooked meats and vegetables just waft through this entire facility, you all, or this entire building. You also smell um, some unfamiliar smells uh, coming off of the tankards of uh, this brownish liquid that uh, Boris is just knocking back as fast as he could. Um, you, uh, and all, This room is also filled with um, a soft almost like lullaby-ish music as a single or a sole uh, person is sitting um, on a chair leaning against the stage against this or this elevated platform against the far wall um, strumming a lute um, and uh, is it Sebastian? Yeah. Why is don't you? Sebastian behind the bar? Oh, that's uh, yeah, Sebastian behind the bar. Oh, hey. The young kid. Telling Sebastian, all, telling Sebastian all about the hunt that just went down and telling, retelling him the adventures. He is looking at you in complete bewilderment, um, having never hunted before. Um, but yeah, there's uh, probably only about five or six other people besides your party sitting in this group at this or sitting in this uh, building at this point. Um, and there is a stairwell leading up uh to a hidden level uh and as uh Kalesa, uh approaches with the seven platters of food um she sets them all down in front of you uh and looks down at this bluish pink uh kobold looks up at Torin, looks at the kobold looks at wub and then looks back at uh Torrance, you just attract interesting creatures, people. I'm. I guess you'll. She's gonna attentively reach her hand out, in as if she's trying to shake your hand, Potat. It's like I'm Kelessa. He grabs her hand with both of his and just like vigorously shakes it up and down. He's like, oh, it's very nice to meet you. I'm Potat. It's very good to see you. I don't know who you are, but you seem very nice. It's very nice to be here. It is here. Where is here? What? 
what is here? Uh, well, this is my inn. Um, this is called the Swinging Sold Inn. Um, I sell food and out ale to people and let them stay here when they get too drunk or as gesturing to the rest of the party. Um, let them or let some stay for extended periods as they're off on their travels and at least have a place to some uh adventures you kind of see pota like scratching underneath his chin a little bit and like his foot starts thumping he's like mm. what's ale and what's drunk <laughs> Uh, Hirish, can I eat it? Hirish shakes her head no vigorously uh, behind. Torin's shaking his head yes. Behind. <laughs> Pota, where Potat can't see. Boris is going to slide uh, over at his thing. Hey, little one. Try this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Do you want to try a, sh a sip of the drink that Boris just pushed over to you? You'll probably think it's nasty. Yes. Mm hmm. Alright. Thank you. And it's up to you if you decide you like it or not. He's going to taste it and go like, wah, wah. This is wah. He's going <laughs> to take another sip and just wah. It tastes even worse the second time. Wah. <laughs> First giggles. <laughs> well, sorry. Can't all have taste wonderful to everyone. <laughs> what do you like to drink, little guy? Um... I've only ever had water before, and whatever that was, that was really gross. Stick, stick to water. Fire water, though. What is that? Is it spicy? <laughs> oh yeah, it's spicy. So, try spice um, Kilesa will kind of walk away and grab uh, another tankard, fill it with, uh, Mm. A uh bit or a kind of thick white liquid. Um and as she brings it over it's like I'm sorry, we don't really have much water to drink. Um, but this is goat's milk. <laughs> Maybe this will suit yeah. your taste tastes. He take it, he go a little Mmm It's great! And just like chug it. Half of it just like drips out of the sides of his mouth, though. Oof. But he he's loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> well. Oh. I'm just as surprised as you, Torin. Well, I've been here all morning and all evening, so I'm going to retire. And she's going to look over at Sebastian and, you know, make sure he's uh, and walk over there and make sure he's got everything he needs. Um, and then take herself Boris upstairs. Very excitedly interrupt her and let her know that Murderface is back. I don't know how to feel about that. He was great with the children, but gosh, he was terrifying. That He's grin. Amazing. He'll be happy to see you. Oh, I know. I had to take care of him I, while you guys were while you all were I gone. Make sure the make sure the kids go see him. I will. I certainly yes. will. What time is it? So at this point, it's uh. Moon is sitting rather high in the uh, in the sky. You get that you probably about have half of the evening left before the sun rises. You know what? Honestly, well, just a should probably a, go a to poor sleep. sap. Whoever decides to hurt one of those orphans. Oh yeah. Just how many like monsters and just. Essentially, godlike. I mean, all seven of us are just like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll be back a minute. And then you've got Murder Face, Trosh, 
Gilker, who's got fucking, I don't even know how many ties in the criminal underworld. Well, would not I think, fuck with. I think we should uh, head to bed and set out first thing in the morning. Agreed. I agree. Let me we get my old sleep. man self to so cane my way up the stairs. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Please right. don't pull a card, Corin. You know better. I'm gonna cautiously enter my room because I don't know who's gonna be in there. <laughs> it's <laughs> po <-tot>. Shit. <laughs> And uh, I will. A make little my alligator is sleeping at the end of your bed. No, he's got the zoomies and he's running around the room. It's like underneath the bed. So bumping into walls. Warren sees practically nothing on Kalisa's body. She is laying, or she is laying in her own bed. You can tell by her demeanor. She's gotten the point that, you know, maybe he's going to take a little bit of time before he starts opening up, and that's fine. She's a patient woman. He opens her up. Uh -huh. All right. Not a murder joke. I'm not sure. Okay, so I have a surprise for you, Mitchell. And no. you can thank your lovely friend John for this. And I, I believe I I've friends. got. He looks surprised. Oh wait, maybe he doesn't. Is there a female oh, goblin oh, stripper in his room? <laughs> is is the screen oh, black? Why. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let me get rid of lighting. It's a female goblin stripper. Oh can, my god! Can oh. you see this? Yes. Wow. This this is, this is the bottom floor of your orphanage. Hey. Oh. oh. Honestly, after one of those things you guys told me about, I think it was a scene grinder or something. I was thinking of mashing up something for the orphanage. That's dope. Cool. John, this looks fantastic. That you actually really office, does. You got an office space here. You got four normal sized beds here. You have like a like a workshop here. You have um, a washing area here for like laundry. This is your school. Oh, thank God. I'm not going to lie. Is... I was about to ask you, did you put a fucking sweatshop in my orphanage? No, this is a school. This is That's storage. <laughs> this is your pantry. This is your kitchen and your foodstuffs area. There's a bunch of tables for all the orphans. This is for awesome. the faculty and guests. And then obviously there's a front gate. And then... I mean, a front thing. Wow. There's more? There's a second floor. Yeah, yeah second, second floor. floor where all the kids live, and I believe uh, Gail's office. No, oh, so these are all the orphan beds here, and then this is for the older orphan kids, and has some nice. games and stuff. Um, there's oh, tables shirts. over here. Here's some baths, and some toilets, and buckets of water. For showers, because you know old yeah. timey days. Yeah. I like yeah. that. That's awesome, man. Here's the oh. daycare. I mean, the orphanage. Amazing. I love it. That's awesome, man. Now that we have a map for it, we can do combat there. Oh. No! <laughs> yeah! I hate it! Slaughter all the orphaned <laughs> orphans! No. Invoke the wrath of the gods. Oh, Wub <laughs> looks so tiny in there. Yeah. Torn Com starts, compared torn to Trush. in with it. Corn walks in with say, did you actually start. put it to scale too? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Come on, pull a card. Wow. It's like, who wants a magic trick? Pull a card, any card. <laughs> oh god. Satan spawns in this corner. One kid turns into a, a statue. The other one's laden with thousands of gold gems. What's happening? Torn, stop it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm super like, like out of character and even in character. Wub is really enticed to pull a card because he knows. The possibility of, like, you know, obviously he doesn't know what cards do what, as we discussed earlier, but he, he knows the possibilities of, like, getting a ton of money, soul, but he also knows the possibilities of, like, basically being haunted by Satan for the rest of your life, or, like, as our friend Torin just described, um, or I believe it was John, you know, uh, somebody's wife basically killing him over the course of a month. No, yeah, it was two days I... later. I 
want to pull a card purely because I, Kaylee, am the most <laughs> impulsive person you'll probably ever meet. But uh, Hira is one of my only characters who would not who would not do that. So I want to kill myself. I've also wanted to use this deck for a long time, but it's one of those, do I want to risk this character? Because if this had been, like, so, a year ago, like, still level 5, oh yeah, not 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 a care in the world. But now that, I, like, Wub has been fleshed out as much, just, do I want to risk losing him? I have the deck here. To satiate you as players, <laughs> would you like me to pull one? This is a one-time DM asking. Theoretically, like, nothing happens to us? In theory. Just just to pull yes. the card and show yes. us. But it's yes. going to be the one good card on the top of the deck. We got two yeses. What's the rest of you say? Uh, just you out of sheer what? curiosity. It. So I've got... I don't know the, because it's going to be a good waters. card and Are it they won't cold work. Or hot? So we got one maybe. What, Torin, what'd you say? Well, I'm affirmative, yeah. So we got a majority oh, yeah. leaning towards yes. All right. So I'm going to give this a good shuffle, as you would for the deck of many things. No, nothing bad happens. Whammy. You're all going to die. Theoretically, of course. And the way it activates is pulling from the top. So, all right. This is... <laughs> it, better not, it better not be moon. This is Uriel. Oh. This card's Medusa-like visage stares into your soul, causing you to take a minus two penalty on all saving throws while cursed in this way. Only a god or the magic of the fates can und or end this curse. So, good thing pretty we much been like ever. Pretty much the worst curse. Well, good pretty thing we actually have a Noah too. couple gods. We literally just yeah, like had fucking dinner with them two days ago. Who who was that for? That was for. That was just a random draw, just oh, to just show the draw. card. So uh, that's the only re that's the only reason we said yes. You think yeah. we'd be more inclined to do if we knew one of us was pulling? So these waters are who, who very cold. Poor. I'm just saying. All it's right. Not a fun card. So. I still moving, want to. moving back to the game, um, everyone is situated in their room, um, and everyone, uh, except for Wub, who's in his orphanage, um, here's the uh, heavy pitter patter of, or the soft pitter patter of feet running or running around the room in Nimbus's old room for a <laughs> couple of hours until it finally just stops you're a loud thug before oh no um <laughs> what causes this loud thud potot does red head first like the wall yeah he definitely headbutt the wall uh <laughs> i'm th i think here is the only one who might hear okay because she's the only one directly next to him. Well, and also Potot is not trying to be quiet, so... Yeah. Not realizing that, you know, the wood floors reverberate and echo. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so all of you are in your own room. Uh, is there anything, like, each of you would want to do before you go to bed? Um, Hira's gonna try again to reach... Tadriel and Tear and practice shutting out Tadriel, that sort of thing. All right, and I made you do a wisdom check the last time. Well, the first two times you made me do a wisdom saving throw, and then you made me do a straight wisdom check because you're cruel. All right, so for getting into Tadriel is going to be wisdom save, and trying to block out is a wisdom check. Okay, so, and it's at disadvantage, right? With the practice that you've gained, it is still at disadvantage, but there's going to be a slight bonus that I'll give you. Okay. So, 
with that, you're able to get in again. And you base the only thing you see is a deep chamber lit only by torchlight and what seems like a soft radiant glow um because you're not not able to control where you're looking you're just looking straight forward and you hear a voice enter into your mind well I see that you've learned a few more tricks. I hope this means you're becoming more worthy of fighting me. Hira does not respond. But she does send bad vibes. Mm. I'm not sending good vibes, bro. Now, Hira, do you not remember all of those wonderful times and during your training? Are you sure you want to go down this path? Or are you complacent being Tia's good little soldier? No response. Bad vibes only. <clears throat> well... Let this be your first warning. And she forces you out of her mind to a point where you almost feel like the breath has been forced out of your lungs. And you are graced with a splitting headache as if someone has cleaved into your skull. We'll go ahead and say that's just four points of damage to put a number to it, but you have it the most awful migraine. I'm listening to 16 IRL, then. Damn. You still have that vial I gave you that was a gift to me that lets you have good dreams. Or at least not bad dreams. Just as a reminder. Can she try and reach Tear? So going off of your similar, uh, your same save, yes, but looking in, you're greeted with nothing, almost as if you're standing in the vast expanse of space, as if you're standing up in the stars themselves. Uh, Hira shits herself. I'm, ki I'm kidding, not in real life. That armor's gonna heart. stick. Or stink. Her, yeah, you already heart, said it. It's 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 no, canon. Her heart, her heart does drop into her stomach though. Uh, can she try and call out to him? As you call, your voice echoes for what seems like eternity. And a few minutes there, you're pulled back. Not forced the same way that you were prior. But you are once again back in your room, lying on the, uh, looking up at the ceiling. Uh, here kind of sits up, pulls her knees up, and is kind of sitting with her hands wrapped around her knees and her head on her knees. And she probably stays like that for the rest of the night, unable to sleep. Okay. Anyone else? Of course, going to be doing his normal uh, meditations and prayers to Merkel. Swearing. Okay. Oh, um, just for my notes, since another month has passed, I already got the collections for that, but um, am I still at the same amount of orphans? Has it gone up or down? <laughs> you are at the same amount right now. Fortunately, not many people, you gather either no one has died, 
on best case of scenario to create more orphans, or worst case scenario, they killed the kids too. Dench, but yeah. Way to bum us out there, Kyle. You're welcome. All right, and Zoya, opening your window. I prefer the number to go down, Boris, but. <laughs> oh, um, I thought you were more orphans. <laughs> oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, he, he tucks two orphans <laughs> behind him. Shh, not right now. No, 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 later. Um, op opening your window, you are able to into, into your meditative state. In the. <clears throat> All right. Anyone else? Um, just kind of walking around the orphanage, you know, doing his normal rounds, making sure the place is maintained. No, you know, nothing broken or damaged. Uh, Wub would just make his way to his bed. Cool. Okay. Make sure the food's all good, the children's are all asleep, you know, the good stuff. Should hire a night guard. Murder face. <laughs> well, do we want to let the night pass, or do we have anything else? I draw would just do his normal prayers and all that other stuff. He'd write down some more in his journal. Oh, what? Torin is satisfied now? Yeah. <laughs> um, Hira mm. might actually eventually in the middle of the night when she realizes she'll never she won't sleep that night, she might make her way downstairs and just hang out at the bar. Okay. Uh Sebastian is there and is just calmly hanging out. Um you know, he offers any kind sleep. of drinks. He is the night shift, so he sleeps during the day. How He's old like is he? <laughs> what a poor guy. Was like that. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Child labor doesn't exist. <laughs> I could do to see daylight anyway. Yeah, he he's like if anyone stops to ask him, he's got a plethora of reasons. He's but, making mad bank. Do you know how many video games he buys? He just sits down there and plays on his what's a video his, game? His Switch. Oh. Hero will probably just make small talk with Sebastian. Okay. It's a rather pleasant conversation. You figure out that, you know, most of the... She'll probably offer even to help him with dishes or whatever chores he has to do. Oh, he's ecstatic about that, because he has problems reaching the sink. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably just spend, spend the night uh, talk, keeping him company and helping him with his All work. Right. So, the night passes fairly easy for some of you. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. I sent Ooh. him a message. Oh. And I'm thinking. We haven't oh, done no, any my, in a while. I wasn't sure. My hand slipped into the into the deck and... Stop it. No. I want to oh, pull one so bad. It's bad when the... Oh my god, this dice is so reliable but so shitty. Oh, that's the worst kind of reliable. Reliably this... shitty. Yeah, the, this Reliably. is the third time in a row that I've rolled this dice and rolled a nine. What alignment is that? Ah, uh, what do you mean, what alignment? Yeah, reliable shitty, that's my alignment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, finally, I rolled something different, a seven. <laughs> I don't know how good that is. So, Zuya. In your meditative state, you are able to kind of separate and get into your uh, innermost thoughts. And you're back into the grove. However, it's different. Instead of the lush greens brilliant purples, blues, pinks that you see, that you used to see throughout this entire area. Um, what you now see is 
is wilted trees. Decaying flowers. All of the beautiful colors replaced with blues, dark blues, and green, or in uh, blacks. Almost as if everything in the grove is dying. If I can make you, or get you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Fuck me. Why are we all rolling so shitty today? So. In this meditative state. You're looking around and it feels so real. You, re you reach out and grab um, one of the only remaining purple petals um, off of one of the vines of a tree. And as you grab it, it just crumbles into dust. And it causes a point of panic within, within you that you almost forget that this is meditation. And a few moments later, you're able to pull yourself out of it. And you're back sitting in your room. I wake up in a sweat or like is there a physical change with me like that mm, you just wake up and you're uh from your meditative or come out of your meditative state no physical change or any kind of issue just the memory obviously shaken I stand up I close the window and I head downstairs in going downstairs, you find Hira engaging in small. Uh, at this point, she would probably be helping Sebastian um, finishing up some dishes and move uh, while he moves on and begins uh, prepping the morning meal. She looks like shit too. She's got huge bags under her eyes. You were able to get your two-hour meditation, so you know you get the benefits of it. Just. Yeah, I go and sit in my normal spot at our table. Uh, Hira will serve Zuya food. He kind of gives her a questioning look. She just smiles weakly and shrugs. And keeps going about helping Sebastian. Okay. She's fully armored too. <laughs> In a kitchen, like with an apron over it. Yeah. Wow. Kiss the chef. <laughs> this one's been scribbled out and kiss the paladin. <laughs> but uh, the rest of you come uh awake. In the morning, um, easily. Um, Horus, Hira, and Adram. Um, Torin, however, you wake up to the sound of Kalissa next to you gasping. She came into his bed again? No. They share a room now. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't she have her own room? He didn't expect her to, to wake up. <laughs> he caught her in the middle of something. Yeah, she has her own room, but... She's taken up residence in his ever because you guys were gone for a <laughs> month and she hasn't she just hasn't moved. 
You guys haven't talked about this either, huh? It's just... And she, she's in the process of, like, just finishing up getting dressed. And she's oh, well. looking at you. And as you wake up, um... <laughs> yes, Potat exactly does that. She reaches to you. Do you move? What? So She's reaching for you. Gasping. For your hand specifically. Yeah, I'm waking up gasping too, huh? What? <laughs> oh my. Just so, let it happen, Torn. As you're as you're kind of looking around the room, um still half dazed, she picks up your hand and shows it to you. It's blue. Once again, covered in barnacles, this time all the way up to your shoulder. Good. Good thing I still have removed curse as one of my spells. And she's looking at you with a combination of confusion and horror. Torin? Nothing to worry about. Um. And she reaches down and literally pulls a barnacle off your skin, and you feel it. It gives you a singe of pain. Uh, it feels like someone's ripping off a band aid sun suddenly. Um. She's like, nothing to worry about, you say. She didn't catch it too, did she? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know where the barnacles are. Right. Well, at least he didn't have those last night. This, uh, <laughs> this line of work <laughs> sees a lot of strange things. Having a blue arm covered in barnacles is small potatoes. Small potatoes. Got it. Um... I understand you not wanting to open up to me, but just know if you need anything, I'm here. And although strange and distant you may be, I don't plan on going anywhere. She's going to gesture around to the room uh, that you guys are in and seemingly towards the entire buildings. I fight for the things that I care about and if I want it, like, I don't give up easily. Ooh, I just want you to know that you have people here that care. And she's going to put on her uh, put on her apron and slide her feet into her boots, and walk downstairs. I'll whisper yes, a little boots. thank you. If you want to, you can make me a perception check, Torin. If you want to. Come on, plus one modifier. Hint, hint, hint. Hell yeah. Yep, you don't see shit. Nice. All right. I don't notice that booty walking away in that dress. She's swinging her hips. Suggestively. She wears pants. She can't wear a dress. It would catch on fire in the kitchen. Assless chaps. No, that's Torrin's thing. She's that's still swinging weird. them hips. Love oh to watch my. her walk away, huh, Torrin? Um, Hate to see you go, love to see you leave. And at this point, Adram and Boris would be leaving their room. Um, and although Kalesa has a slightly worried face on, or worried face on, she is smiling a little bit. Um, and walking past um, Nimbus's former room, where Potat is being held, um, once again, you hear the pitter-patter of feet uh, just running around in circles, and then another bonk. <laughs> and then 
a drum, you slowly open the door and uh, Potat is sitting there kind of rubbing his nose and then oh, just gets up and shoom. Can Potat reach the doorknob or does he need help going in and out of the room? Yes, he can reach the doorknob, but has he seen a doorknob is the question. <laughs> so he thought he could just headbutt the door open? <laughs> he doesn't know that you gotta like hold it and turn it. He just knows that like, oh, this thing opens things. So, of course, his immediate thing is, oh, I gotta run face first into it. But, uh, since it's open now, he just... Downstairs. <laughs> it zooms past yeah. without even looking at anybody, just... Yo. I smell food? Alright, and yes, as you guys make your way downstairs, you are missing, uh, Mr. Kenai. Um, but... You are downstairs and enjoying a decent meal. And I would assume, at this point, this is where uh, Mr. Kenai will make his entrance back with the party. I would like to note that um, here is like, basically looks like a messy cook. Hmm. Like, she's wearing the apron, but she's got like, shit all over her, and she she's serving everybody. And wonderful food it is. It tastes divine. Well, she had a lot of help from Sebastian, to be honest. <laughs> and for a mental note, I'm sure Torin is kind of covering. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Gloves are on, coat sleeves down. So, I, I will be... The uh, tweet, tweet! Uh. Oh, hey, what was that? I think it sounded like a bird. No, I just got, um, Miss... Oh. Mr. Prez Baby as a new follower. Okay. Hey, yeah. Right, well, hey. Baby. That's Alex. Yeah, that's oh. uh, hey. Alex. Oh, yeah. That's nice. the baby or cor coroner from our guild. Nice! Well, hi! Yeah. But, uh, I am going to take a momentary restroom break if you guys want to deliberate on the next day's events. Let's kill some cultists. You know, if we each drew one single card, the probability... No. <laughs> Not worth it, man. Trust me, I was up Oh, I mean, like, one of us will probably die, and someone will probably get um, all their powers taken away, and someone will get haunted by a devil, for sure. But maybe one of us will get some wishes. <laughs> with, my, with my luck, I'd get the devil one. I'd be like, damn it, again? <laughs> again? Oh, man, I <laughs> just got rid of this. He's, he's like, hey, again. Missed ya. <laughs> got like, you. Out of character, I really want to draw it, but I'm I'm also really scared that with my luck, I'm going to get the one that literally just, like, disintegrates all of your, like, magic items and wealth. That's the one I'm most scared literally of, literally just disintegrates. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't exist. Yeah, you, you got a lot on the line there. I thought it would be really good. funny. You got the one what that happened to the orphans? Oh, my God. Where you basically, like, uh... This like random like uh level four knight or whatever like finds you and follows you and he like pledges himself to you. I think that'd be fucking hilarious. Yeah, I'd have a lady. It, 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 I'd have a lady goblin knight because they're the same <laughs> race as you. Yeah. Hilarious. I think a drum would get a little jealous if if here it got an ASMR knight. <laughs> you think? Hmm. No. Pondering that deck all night. So I guess like only half of us actually slept through the night. I slept, but it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. Well, how could you sleep with Kalesa over there like that? Separate beds, easy enough. You just cast yeah, sleep on themselves. Saucy answer you're all looking for. Sleep. <laughs> I just realized being a wizard would be sick. No sleepless nights. You have a night where you're just like restless. It's like 12 o'clock, 1 in the morning. You're like, all right, you know. I think Torn has, uh, what is it, commitment issues? Uh, intimacy, <laughs> intimacy issues? There's no issue just because you don't want to have an intimate relationship with somebody. Some people just care about other shit. Damn, okay. it doesn't have to lead her on like that, though. <laughs> Who's leading who on? 
Torrance leading Kalesa on. I don't think so. Kalesa doesn't think so. She's just an adamant woman. <laughs> yeah. They but they exist. Yeah, that's all she needs. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's get back. Feeling a little blue this morning. <laughs> I'm that blue. I think I might die. I'm blue. <laughs> okay. I think a drum would Jazzy. ask Torn about that. That wetness <laughs> from the transportation. Jeez, guys, makes me makes me miss Nimbus. You know, <laughs> blue, wet. <laughs> I agree. I miss Nimbus. Shit. You can't morph me into Nimbus. <laughs> I won't allow it. Try I won't me. allow this. That's what's happening. <laughs> That's how water genasi reproduce. Uh... You just become a moist it's a, boy. It's a, bar it's a barnacle based STD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> On that link, I just got the uh, Medusa one. No oh, man. Oh, and I, then I, the I, all magic from you. You guys are ruining the fun. You're supposed to draw one here, not in that damn thing. Let your DM have some fun, damn it. Pick oh, a I'm card. just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm just not gonna be the only one to draw. You really want me to pick a card, Kyle? You want me to pick a damn card? <laughs> You're the I'll one that's it. I, I I will. I'm just not going to be the only and one that draws. The consequences too late. <laughs> if Torin draws a card, then Wub definitely will. He just needs. What's going to happen? I know there's some that take away experience, or some that gain experience. What happens with that? What happens if we we'll find out? Draws, I guess like... we'll find out if one of us loses or gains experience. Well, Torin, are you still up? Or you came downstairs? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, all of you enjoy a nice prepared meal by uh, your very own Hira and Sebastian. Um, let's see. Ah, not it, in this. As uh, I watch Potat scramble, like shovel down the food, I give him my plate. Hmm. I just see him like wide eyes, like, oh, I knew the potato god loved me. <laughs> and he just like shovels out all the food. Hero, bro Hero serves uh, potat nothing but various forms of potatoes mashed potatoes, boiled potatoes, raw potatoes. Is that sacrilegious though? You're eating those things are deities? Gonna stay around. He understands that potatoes are a form of food. He just holds them at the highest form. Like, this is so good for me that this is the only thing that I can eat. Gotcha. Wonderful. And they're not the potato god, because that's the one that you haven't eaten. Exactly. So you Got understand. It. Got it. Seems Wonderful. like a charm spell first, the potato god. Is he? Well, what would the party like to do with their day? I think we want to book it out of here. I think we had marching orders on, on the table. Okay. Um, we need a horse cart. All right. So making your way over to uh, the Lauren's um, shop. Uh, the old man is still sitting out front, um, but you do see his two uh, younger, uh, about one's about Torin's age, the other one looks a couple years younger. Um, both of them are working in the shop, uh, currently repairing um, another cart that had been dropped off to them. Um, and off to the left of the building, you're able to see uh, several large uh mares 
just kind of quietly grazing uh, out of the grass that is growing off to the side of the stable. I don't know, horses. When are y'all's gonna have to do this? We've rented, we've rented from them before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, the first thing that we did way back in the day, and it had a, a hidden little passage in a, in a book. Even better, we've already built up rapport. Yeah. Is this where we found the Adram smut? <laughs> no, it was like some cultist book or something. It just so happens that it was like the, the caravan that some cultists used and they forgot to take something out or something like that. I fell victim to the link. I got It was like the card. first like the first episode we had we did that. Mm -hmm. Back when we had everybody. Um so we'd head up to the stables and see Oh, we don't have the notes anymore. Old man Marley. Hello. Yeah, that guy. Same yep. thing. And he's sitting up and at this point like he was like last night when you guys walked by he was sit rocking in his chair with his eyes closed with his uh, pipe hanging out of his mouth. But now, he's got um, an end table set up next to him with a steaming small little glass or porcelain uh, cup and a book in his hand and another one sitting next to him. Well met, friend. <clears throat> Hello. We were inquiring if we could rent a, a horse and a wagon he's gonna kind of squint down at you and then look over to here and like oh yes you rented from me before did i yes, ever get that caught back of course it came back cleaner than you lent it he's gonna look at here and like i don't remember <laughs> she's Gonna smile and shrug. She looks too tired. She barely heard what was just said. Adram, you can make me a deception check with advantage, cause he's old. I was gonna say maybe a persuasion. Lying to an old man. Wow. Wow. That's why I was gonna go more with a persuasion. That I persuaded them that we. Yeah, persuade him of a lie. That's what deception ever, is. I don't think we ever did return. I thought it was implied that we returned it, though. Yeah. But we never explicitly said we returned it. So because we we returned it, and that's when we found that that book. No, you you found the book when you picked when you picked it up. Oh. Um, um, but his toothless grin is going to widen into a um, toothless smile. And he's, it's like, ah, yes, yes, mm, I remember you. Go on back, my sons will get you all straightened up. I'm too busy. And he holds up a thickly le or thick leather-bound book. The cult book. <laughs> we appreciate it. What are you reading? It's uh, it's <laughs> Sorry, weird. Kyle. It's this weird story. It's it, it's fiction. Your business, and he shovels off something, something. Like, <laughs> it it seems it's a fiction tale. Uh, it's called. Does that say the lusty Argonian maid? Oh God, no! Volume three. He already read the first two. Wow. It's called the Misadventures of Misery and Company. Volume one. A, a drum's gonna stop oh. in his steps. Misery and company. That sounds like a cut out web. That sounds like a what? That sounds like a good name. Hmm. A drum's gonna kind of like shuffle here and is the is the whole group with us? Yeah, whole group. You're gonna kind of shuffle everyone back. To get seeing your card. Noticed, seeing if they noticed the name of the cup, the, the book. They would have heard it, yeah. <laughs> we didn't officially name ourselves, so it wouldn't mean anything to us. 
It's just a book true. title. Yeah. You can't control what's written on a book. But making your way back, um, or further back, you are able to meet his two sons. Um, and as you approach, the younger of the two uh, steps back from what he's doing um, and uh, approaches. Well, how can I help you? Need a cot? Need horses? Got uh, all of the above. <laughs> well, he's gonna take count or take a head count. Notice the two small figures uh, standing with you. Well, you won't uh, need a full size cot. Also, minus one horse, and she's gonna kind of point at Murderface, who's lurking in the back. <laughs> oh fuck! He, he doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't need to eat a horse. Don't worry. You don't need to take one off the bill for the that. The dude straight up poops himself. <laughs> That's the thing that my kid has been riding on. I've told him not to do, not to ride on it anymore. It's gonna eat him. Oh, he's why is it following you? He loves kids. I raised him since he was a baby. Don't worry. He's he's oh. completely tame. He's super friendly, and she's she's gonna uh put put him in a headlock, friendly headlock. The uh the manticore, not the guy. <laughs> Murderface does growl, but you can see with this humanoid face, it's a grinning, like, jovial, like, uh, you know, I know you're playing with me, so I'm gonna pr play with you back, growl. She's gonna pick up a stick and throw it as far as she can. He leaps off the ground, taking into a full glide, and then just grab or dives into it and grabs it, and that, as he gets closer, you just hear the kink of the, of the stick just <laughs> snapping in his jaws the dude is just gone from like a dark sun a uh, sun stained uh, skin to almost as pale as boris see he's super friendly he loves to play right he's so a good boy don't worry about him you don't need a lead horse then okay um so with this Rental or sale? I mean, we could just buy one. Ah, uh, at this point, might be in our best interest. It'll cost you two platinum to buy. Horses and cot. Okay. Uh, here we'll hand over two platinum. Well, that was relatively easy. Okay, well, here you go. He begin. He and his brother walk off and begin hitch, hitching up uh, five horses and the uh, cart. And it's a covered cart. Um, but, uh, you know, and you do see off to the side, there's different sizes of carts. Uh, you know, one some that are uncovered, some that are just, you know, small, like, transportation ones. Some that are outfitted for carrying specific uh, items. Uh, this one just seems like a general travel cart that you would see in a ca in a caravan. And what do you uh, what do you mean, Kaylee? What happened to my new setup? What? You asked in my Twitch chat. Oh, I thought you had like the our our, our characters like rotating and then. Oh, I don't have that on this page. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's on the next page. Eh, that one. Oh, it's not on this one either. See, I've got to edit it again because now we have our eight screens again. <laughs> Which, actually, that reminds me. You can hide the non-video ones. That won't even matter. Because I have them set up for... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. You, I, you two don't matter. You don't have video. <laughs> no, what you I mean by it won't us. matter is I don't. Your even... screen, your screen is so squished. Is I don't have uh, a layout to fit that many. Like it's very temperamental. I've got, but anyway, anyway, anyway. So now you have your cart. Which direction do you set off to? 
uh, what was it, like, south east? Okay. So that's the direction, whichever the direction of, uh, where that army was headed was. Yeah, Ironford. Pull up your map. As Hira's kind of questioning and where everything is, she's going to unfurl a map in the back of the caravan. Now, looking at your map, you realize one of two things. That Ironford is on the other side of the uh, Desarian River. And the bridge that you see crossing over to Ironford looks to be small and wooden. As in, if you were to take a card over it, there might be some sizing issues. Torin, do you have any solutions? What do you want me to do? Shrink the cart and horses? I don't know. Something magical. <laughs> I mean, once we get there, we could just tie up the cart and horses. That's uh... true, we could leave them on the other side of the river, but I don't know how safe that would be. I guess if we left Murderface to guard it, uh, it probably wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I don't have anything that specific situation. I could pop my wings and try and fly everything over one at a time, but I don't know if I can carry a horse. <laughs> um, you would know through previous travels and, um, you know, also by looking at the map, uh, there is a larger bridge that goes over the river, but that would cause you to have to go in the opposite direction, north, across to, or through Bel Air. Could we could we unhitch the horses and walk them over the bridge one at a time? Seeing as you haven't seen this horse or, or seen this uh, bridge, uh, and there's only a small depiction of it on the map, you wouldn't know. Well, I mean, if that entire ass army went that way with all their siege equipment, I feel like we'll be fine. We could just find the path that it travels and go, this, go across the same way. Mm -hmm. be hard, it wouldn't be hard to follow the path of an army. I mean, they're going to wear down the ground enough. They're going to leave enough garbage behind. They're going to leave enough of a trail that we could spot it from forever far away. Just I just, I don't want to go so far out of the way because this seems pretty urgent. Yeah. What if I were like, to turn into an elemental and just like lift the stuff and move it? That's something you can do first before we start making solutions to a problem that may or may not exist. <laughs> like I said, let's let's see what it looks like when we get there. Let's just let's head yeah. out. I think we should head that way and then solve the problem when we get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. Southbound we are. So, gathering up and for the sake of brevity, I'll assume. That you guys want to take some cart or take some, or get some gather or gather some stuff for travel? Yeah, just basically. Can I ask if we need stuff. supplies? Yeah. Some we food. didn't really use much supplies use on much. our way because we did a big shopping trip before we went to Feathergale, and we didn't really use much. True. So. Right. Um. So just basic traveling supplies. Okay. Like food and. So that would probably run about blankets. Two gold per person. Um, to get everything stocked up, or restocked up, and looking at the map as you guys set off into the, or down the Karen Road, uh, you get the feeling at this speed, um, it's going to, or this, uh, let's see, where is it, where is it, uh, 8, 12, 16, 
Uh, 32 mile journey will take you the better part of two and a half days, maybe three, depending on your pace. Let's get going, friends. Okay. Days. Days on the road. And feel free to uh, stop me. As in the song of his people. Hmm. Uh, Hero will take the first watch every night. And uh, when her watch is done, when she's taken off her armor and stuff, she will try to slip into Tadriel's mind. And after that, check up on Tyr. Um, so. Just as a general rule. Okay. And so feel free to interrupt me if you guys want to have any kind of RP moments during your watch or something like that. Um, but. For the first day, um, you begin uh, hauling or riding through uh, down the Cairn Road, leaving uh, Red Larch once again behind you. Um, you slowly make your way out of the city um, or out of, out of the town, uh, and with the houses getting smaller and smaller in the distance, and you have or watching as the corn fields and uh, grain or the grain fields and the different uh, type of vegetable patches and uh, farmsteads slowly um, fade into just wild grass, green grass, um, stretching on for several miles. Um, you now are, are able to look up, or as you get further out, you're able to look up to, from the direction you're traveling, the north, um, and see the rubble um, of what used to be the Feathergale Spire. Um, and to your south, or to the south, uh, it just stretches, the greenery stretches on for miles. <clears throat> and you get to about... Here. As the first day, uh... Let's... Mm, here. About here, as the first day uh, begins to close from your travel, um, and the sun is slowly beginning to set, the cool breeze uh, starts coming down southward over the sumbering hills as the uh, sun begins to set. You guys wish to make camp? Yeah. Alright. Taking some time to make uh, camp. Uh, Let's see. Um, as you guys begin to make camp, uh, everything sets up pretty easily when you guys have enough uh, rations on you. Um, with Hira uh, already opting in to take the first watch, who wishes to join her? Uh, she was actually going to ask Torn to watch with her. Okay. When he start when he when he starts looking at he's about to complain, she claps him on the back. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> That's a good idea, but no, Mitchell. <laughs> um I'll sue you. It says it right there. I don't have. I don't think I have that on my stream. Yeah. Why pick me here? But yeah. One K points. Ban an in-game action. That? Why me? Well, um, I've been thinking about that deck, mm -hmm. and if. If you thought pulling from that deck could save Simon, would you do it? Thought has occurred to me.
I don't really know anything about that deck. I know bad things can happen, but I can't help but juggle the idea that what if it's worth the risk? If we could potentially, you know, end Tadriel's plan and save Tyr and Simon all in one fell swoop. Is it worth? Is it worth it? That's what makes this thing so dangerous. It gets into your mind like that. What if? What if? Sure, you could get incredibly lucky and alter, let's just say, reality in some way. This deck can do that. On the other hand... Can alter reality? If you, forgive the pun, play your cards right. <laughs> On the other hand, it could either severely damage you, strip you of anything that makes you... I guess we can call ourselves heroes at this point. Well, oh, big opinion of yourself. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't make the choice for you. But if you want to risk it, we do have access. I don't think this is a decision to be made in two days. <laughs> I think perhaps if we get a little more desperate, I might I might have to think about it more seriously. Likely. Using this thing in desperation. Also a scary thought. But... If we run out of options <laughs> and I see no other way to save Tyr. I hate to admit it, <clears throat> but I don't think I'd have a choice. Fingers crossed we never have to unlatch this pouch. Well, <laughs> the day ever comes where I have to make the decision and I get unusually <laughs> lucky. I'll make sure to include Simon on the list of things to fix and <laughs> save. Oh. How noble. I appreciate the, uh, the sentiment. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully we never have to. If anything, it all goes smoothly. I can sell this to some poor, poor... I don't think we should here. sell it, regardless. I don't want... I don't think it would be good for anybody to get the, their hands on this. Yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I know you like to make money off of these kinds of things, but doesn't it bother you what this kinds of thing could do in the wrong hands? Or innocent hands? Innocent hands. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I pick my buyers very carefully. But I I'm not to... sure there's anybody who would be appropriate to bear this deck of burden. never know. There's lots of surprises out there in Waterdeep. But we'll keep it for now. Until we either need it, or we can figure out a way to maybe get rid of it. <laughs> that would be ideal. As long as that temptation's there, I'm afraid none of us are immune. Very fair. I don't want to have to threaten to fireball anyone that gets too close to the pouch. <laughs> I would like to propose that Boris holds on to this. Boris is asleep. I'm good to keep it for now. I had the the urge to pull a card, believe me. But... Well, if the urge ever gets too strong, perhaps we should pass it around to somebody who seems less inclined at the moment. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Heard anything new from your... <laughs> upstairs neighbor? I've been trying to see what I can glean 
from her. It's not much since I saw her in that fiery place. Last night, she was in some sort of room. There wasn't much light. I couldn't see much, but she always knows I'm there when I look in. And Normally she pushes me out pretty quickly or she just taunts me and then pushes me out. But we'll see. I'm worried about Tyr, though. The first couple times I looked in on him, he was he seemed to be reliving some memories, but last night when I looked in, there was nothing. Absolute nothingness. And I don't know what it means. To ask, but... Who the hell am I gonna ask? Exactly. That connection you've got's kinda of been The sooner we figure out what these cults are doing, hopefully we can figure out a lead on Tadriel. I Maybe hope kill so. kill a few birds with one or two stones. Ugh. So, your first watch passes without any kind of issue. I am good watchman. <laughs> um, Can I make my saves? So, uh, go for it. Um, and who wants to take second watch? Got him, got him, got him! <laughs> hmm. I can take last watch. I want to take last watch, too. Ooh. Well, purple dice, thank you. As you try to push into Tadriel, Uwu, you get mm -hmm. forced back out. I rolled a 20! And she rolled a natural 20 to get behind the beams. Motherfucker! <laughs> um, in terms of tier, it's the same as last night. Um, and who is taking second watch? I would just suggest that Zuya take it because uh, having the better eyes and not necessarily needing sleep, that might be the best option. Yeah, but splitting it up is a pain in the ass. Oh, you're, you're I sleep. only need I only need four, so if I take it in the middle, I'm I'm gonna be up. What do we want to do? Well, I'll take the middle one. It makes more sense for you to take last. Yeah. It makes more sense for me to take last because it's a pain dealing with my armor, but yeah. Just do you and Zuya last then, and then in the All middle. Right. Yeah, yeah. I just figured else. it would be good having two. Yeah, two, it, two yeah perception for perception, you know? it makes sense for one of us to be in the middle, but well, what for can everything be the else. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Web can be in the middle. And I. Or Web and. Uh... Also, me and Torn both had shit perception, and we were first watch, so gang gang. <laughs> well, should we just hope that if nothing goes wrong in the beginning of the night, we'll be fine by the end. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a shit. Hits the fan. Don't wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'm waking you up first. Uh, Hira uh, falls asleep almost instantly because she didn't sleep at all the night before and then she took first watch, so she's dead inside. Alright. <clears throat> so the two of you staying up to watch, please give me some perception checks. Um, I guess I'll do it. Somebody's got it, because Torrin's tired. <laughs> Shit. Oof. Well, are you with me or no? Uh, safe, I, I assume Wub's comfortably you. asleep. Wub's not taking place. middle watch? Not this time. Well, fuck. What was Is that? Drama alone, then? What's that, Potat? But I could say Potat can go with him. Go for it. 
It'll watch with him. In reality, just one person needs to stand watch, but obviously two people are better than one. Yeah, I was about to say. We have plenty of people. Yeah. Yeah, if only it was... If only this was like a Pathfinder Kingmaker where you can literally just assign people and they take that watch every single time you rest. Well, Hero will always take the first watch. I think Boris always takes the last watch. Yeah, we should kind of just assume that the two of us are always taking those. And then I assume Zuya would take either first or last. Yeah, either way. I didn't realize that's how your sleep worked, right? Well, yeah, I only so need. Either on first or last. <laughs> I only need four hours, so it makes it doesn't make sense for me to take middle watch, <laughs> because then I'm either up for first and second or up for second and third. So, none of you, neither of you, notice anything. It is a quiet, peaceful evening. Um, the wind blowing through the uh, valley, uh, making the ground sh or the grass shift through the area. Um, and your watch passes uneventfully. Next two. It's not that Love didn't want to, it's that Love needed a long rest for his spells. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he didn't use any. In, in the last fight against the giant elemental? We already, use any we, we, we already slept. Rest. Yeah, we already slept like twice the since then. Wow. Yeah. You went to the orphanage. Where yeah, he where he slept. Different... Yeah, it's been two different nights since then. We've had two long rests. That puts us at eighth. Okay. Yeah, this will be the third long uh, third long rest. All right. So can I get the per perception checks, please? For my two. Final watchers. There's a good roll for the first time tonight. Except my good roll didn't do jack shit for me. <laughs> so, Zulia, being kind of accustomed to the uh, background noise of the wilderness, so to speak, or the open plains. Um, you're the first to recognize the, uh, sounds of small explosions way off into the distance. And as you look towards the dis or towards the sound, which is coming from the southeast, you can see small little glowing spots just cresting over the horizon. It almost looks like a small sun is rising up from this area. And you are hearing uh, a repetitive, like, uh, small booms and a few seconds later some crashing. Um, but it seems off in the distance and staying where it's at. You hear that, Boris? Huh? What? And Name's not Boris. With I your, know. I just like to think he was nodding off. With his uh perception, and now that Zoya has pointed it out to him, he would be able to see and uh perceive this. Um, oh, that looks bad. And Boris, with your previous experience, give me an intelligence check. Just a straight d20 roll, add your intelligence modifier. God. <laughs> it has been a long time, so you're unable to discern. It almost sounds like thunder. Sounds like the thunder of the gods, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. I don't like it, though. We should warn the others, I think. I don't think it's something we have to wake him up for. It's not moving. We should let him know if it gets closer, though. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. Prepare. Yeah, get ready for movement. Yeah. 
If anything, if it doesn't move, we'll let him know in the morning. I'm... Okay. That's the that's probably the battlefield though. Something bad's going down. Gods are fighting. He died. They're they probably made their way to Iron Fort. They probably <laughs> are fighting. Let's hope that's what it is. Let's hope it's nothing else. It's not like we need anything oh, you... else to fight right now. I think that's just the assault weapons that they had. Probably they they were moving a lot of weapons. Mm. I don't know. Could that be all those ballista weapons they had? I don't know. You know more about that kind of war than I do. It's been a long time since we've seen anything like that, though. Well, it is, it is the way we're headed, so I I don't know. I I hope it is. Because if it's something else, we're it's not going to be good. Let's I hope don't. For the best, though. Let's hope for the best, because we don't need to fight anymore. We know we're we know we're things. jumping into a shitstorm, though. Yeah, but I don't know if we're ready to handle more <laughs> more of a shitstorm. More heads of take off, right? <laughs> uh, Merkel take them off. That may be so. But we're we're hanging by a thread, Boris. All of us. <laughs> we may have had some really good things happen recently, but we're all hanging by a thread. It could always get worse, though. Getting better. Could. Well. That's what I'm worried about. We can all only do so much, and I don't know. So much I'm worried about. Do, does everyone else not expect the worst? I don't. I know we're better than it. But after everything oh. we've been through? I mean, at all times, though, don't you always just in every situation just expect things to not go right? No. thought that it was the way of things. Not for me. I know we're better than everything we've come up against. Yeah, and that's why we that's why we must kill it. Yes, but I'm worried now. I'm worried that we won't be better than what we come up against. Impossible. Nothing's better than Boris. When that Boris crosses his arms. I hope so, Boris. I hope so. You're going in the tray. God damn it, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Did it roll a nine again? Yes! Oh, god damn it. Right after it gave me a fucking 20. Alright, so, in coming to the end of your watch, the sun crests over, or over the horizon... Um, and at this point, after certain some hours have passed, uh, with your keen senses of smell, um, especially for some of you, uh, are able are able to recognize the smell of sulfur or fire. Um, soot. I mean, not sulfur. Well, it, sulfur is in fire. It just doesn't smell like rotten eggs. Um, <laughs> but. Packing up, uh, having some more or another uh, meal of rations, if you want to mark that off your character sheets. Uh, you begin making uh, your travel again. And who's going to be helming the front of the cart? Because kind of the way that it's set up is you got a bench seat up front and the rest of you can sit in the back. Probably someone with good perception and animal handling. I'm going to be on... Murder face to the side, I believe was the plan, right? Or behind it? So you'd be, like, Murder Face is currently strapped uh, up to the cart as the lead horse, basically. 
I would be writing him then. Uh, they're fixed better. Okay. So then three, or Boris would be the first, and then Zulia in the back, or on the bench seat with... I have an animal handling of five and a perception of five. Okay, so Boris, Zuya, and Wub, give me some perception checks, please. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Zuya's nerves nice. have, uh... A... I might use my luck to re-roll that. Damn. <laughs> okay. Well, Go you're going to waste a luck roll on that when I just rolled a nat 20? Oh, no, I'm not, because... I feel like I would, but I'll just be like, you, oh. get, you, you get three luck rolls per day. Yeah, so. For long rest. Mm -hmm. yeah, for long rest, so. But, why, uh. Why so, waste it when someone rolled a net 20? Right. <laughs> so, with Zulia's nerves kind of being on edge, um. Uh, you're kind of looking around the entire area. Uh, and continuing on, there's miles of. Uh, green, lush area, just kind of, um, go, or, ebbing and weaving, uh, or ebbing and weaving through the, or as the wind blows through the valley, um, and you start begin beginning to, along with the hint of, uh, something burning way off in the distance, uh, you're starting to get that slight fresh water smell, um, However, the one thing that you do notice, or, or the other thing that you notice is you re uh, vaguely remember um, your companions mentioning a inn on your way to, uh, or on the end of this Cairn Road um, called the Barge Right Inn. And as, you know, mentioning this, Wub opens up the map um, and points it out to you. And somewhere in the distance, you see one small plume of flame, and then another, and then another. Seven plumes of fire begin sparking up all around in the, uh, grasslands between you and the barge right in and the fire begins spreading encroaching and with your perception the closest plume to you which is about at most a mile and a half away from you you see a hooded figure and as he stoops down or this figure stoops down, that plume grows in size and sparks again. What do we want to do? Uh, us in the back, we don't know what's going on, right? Zuyu, so you're the one that noticed this, so. Looks like someone's starting fires out here or doing something with fire out here. Be prepared for something. And so, looking out the back of the cart, the rest of you can, uh, at least from your angle, you see the one that was a mile and a half off, off to the northeast. The ones up front, um, like if Potat and uh, Boris kind of look out the front behind uh, Zuya and Wub, uh, well... Torrent, I mean, because Boris is all the way up front. Um, you're able to see more of those plumes. I yell up to Boris and tell him to stand ready. Does yeah. it look like it's Bad. possibly from the army? I don't think so. I think it might be the fire cult. You want it, you can make a perception check leaning out the back and trying to see that plume that's closest to you. Can I try and barge into Tadriel's mind? Or is it too soon after the last time? So... With your perception of drum, you see the, uh... Uh... You see the plume, but the figure that Zuya mentioned, 
um, you're unable to see them inside the fire. It's too far of a distance. Um, as for your question, uh, Hira, you can try again at any point that you want. <laughs> There's that 25, but man, that 11. Natty one. Yep. As you kind of push your consciousness, it almost feels like you hit a brick wall. And that splitting headache returns. This time not causing any damage, but you you're now you now have a headache. Uh, as they get closer to the stuff, here is going to give a rousing speech, preparing them for battle. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Mm. So that's again. Mm-hmm. Sixteen temporary hit points to everybody. We're gonna right. get in there. We're gonna kill some cultists. We're gonna have some cake. And we're gonna eat it too. That's what I imagine your rousing speed is. <laughs> And so, take on three. So, Let's bring so it is in. everyone else, and I'm like, "Yeah, killing people." <laughs> no, no, it's got to be pie because of today. At this point, or as you guys continue moving on, um, <clears throat> and getting closer and closer, um, that fire has slowly spread. But with the season that you're in, it's kind of it's still relatively cold. Um, and not much rain follows dur or falls during this area or during this time in this valley. So the fire kind of puts itself out um, with uh, and if you would like, you can make me some perception checks to those who are uh, wanting to. Definitely would like to look. Give it another shot. Oops, uh, that would be 19. I feel I like we'd all, we, advantage. we'd all, like, be trying to glimpse something. I sure wish Nimbus were here right about now. Could use we a could big moist, a, could use a moist boy. Just pee on everything. Well, he also has the crate water cantrip or whatever. Oh yeah, that makes, that makes sense too. I like the idea of a drum whipping it out and peeing on things. Jesus Christ, stop, Adron, put stop. it away! Stop thinking about that. I told you no. There are children was... here, she gestures to Wub. And who knows? Wait, could... who... Hmm? Wait, who's next to me? Who's who's within uh, touch of me? Uh, touch me, baby. Basically... Everyone except for Boris, right? Everyone except for Boris, yeah. Guess what? I cast Guidance on all of you. Okay. One at a time. One at a time. And you get guidance, and you get guidance, and you get guidance. Okay, and guidance, if you'll link it for me, doesn't it give you uh, it just gives a you D4. A plus D4, yeah. On skill checks? Yep. Okay, so... so... I'm coming in with a nice old 11. <laughs> oh, that's the one. D4. I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> You're still higher than mine, friend. You got 13. Yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. Ooh. So, let's see. Sorry for those kids to kill me. So, yeah. Thought you, were, you were screaming out to the void. <laughs> uh, let's see. What did. What was wrong? Uh, Boris is not using his guidance. Cool. All right. Yeah, because he uh, he's. Oh wait, far. what are we using? Are we using guidance for something? So if normally the way, yeah normally the way the guidance works is it should be done whenever I like you should you or cast guidance whenever I call for a check and try to use or you know let me know that you're gonna use it before you roll. So that way you can roll your perception and your guidance or whatever it is before. But because this is the first time we're using guidance, I'll let it go this time um oh i wasn't i wasn't gonna use mine i thought we were just rolling you roll it when you go to use it for your what ability. was everybody else using it for because they were gonna the use perception it. check oh i wasn't gonna use it for that it doesn't it doesn't like stick around oh yeah oh for one minute 
Okay, um, then I guess I use it. Whatever. <laughs> so. So 23 for me. It would be... Hira, Zuya, and Wubba Lubba that notice this. Off in the distance, as you got, or as you are all moving uh, down closer and closer towards uh, the barge right, uh, right in, and the small bridge leading over into Ironford. Off to the north, where you saw one of the plumes of fire spring up, you see a small blip of orangish energy rushing towards you at a very quick pace. And as it gets closer and closer, and then within 45 feet, it expands into a massive fireball. And that's where we're going to end the session tonight. Yes. Who's echoing? That was... Wubba has his phone. Um, yeah. So it was, we heard that. Yeah, it was, I was using the toilet and then had to go to the kitchen, my bad. You good? definitely don't have the, the stream on, though. You're going to get caught in a weird loop. We're about to get fireballed! <laughs> Can't wait to not counterspell this not thing. Okay yeah. <laughs> Tor, Torin just looks at the guy and goes, uh uh, and just stops it. <laughs> well, you have to be close enough to the guy. Uh, maybe. I am a little oh, bummed, no, Kyle. No, I'm no, not no. getting. Excited. I actually flipped for it, and I was going to pull a card in the morning, but... You know, I, I had Counterspell, but I lost it when I swapped oaths. I, I flipped a coin for a Wub's Greed like I did that one session long mm -hmm. ago, and uh, this time I unfortunately failed. And uh, yeah, he was definitely going to draw that card. <laughs> well, hold on to that mentality for a little while longer, because uh, yeah. next yeah. session we're going into uh, Ambush. Yeah, yeah. I just figured that with everything going on, it'd be kind of weird to be like, "Hey, about the about that deck you were talking about yesterday." <laughs> Fireball flying towards you, and it's like, you know, Tori, <laughs> I want to draw that card now. Although, must, if I got if I got the, the, the moment. if I got the wish card, <laughs> hey, um, this elemental cult we're fighting doesn't exist. Gone. Hmm. Now there's just a bunch of fucking Question mad fanatics out there with nothing to follow, causing absolute mayhem because Question, they're, they they have no order. If you get like the face, you get to make something never have never happened. Or if you get a wish or whatever, does that like is there like a butterfly effect from that? Um, for for five, I was kind of joking just because like in <laughs> old school D and D, if I remember right, like second edition and A D and D, which my dad taught me, the wish spell could literally do anything and. Anything and everything under the sun. If I remember right, it was equivalent to what's called a god tier spell in the original Dungeons and Dragons or whatever. For this, it's equivalent to a ninth level spell that is also called Wish, so I think there are some technical constraints, but generally, as long as your DM is allowing to do it, you can still, as Torin stated at one point in the game, you can still literally alter time and space. It's Wish is a very, very nifty thing. I meant cards like the fate card that, like, alters shit. I was actually going to say what he was referencing. I can't remember what fate actually does. Yeah. Has the potential to erase certain events make it so that it never happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. And spell that's spell right. Really duplicate spell effects and, like, a myriad of other things. That's right. It's, it's essentially like a fate. Norn or the, the three yeah, fates. Ugh, that's, that's a rough one. Question: Do you guys want to chat real quick about the summer, or do you need? Do we want like more time to think on it? Since we're all here. A oh, one moment. Well, thank you guys for uh, coming out to a fun session of uh, Princess of the Apocalypse. I'm glad you guys were able to join me for tonight, and. Uh, We'll be here next week. Hopefully, uh, the party is able to uh, figure out what just launched a fireball at them and survive.
and I appreciate you guys coming by. Have a good night.